in love with yoga and the, actually the very first class I took, I went and I was really into the, the stretches and I was really looking around thinking, oh, I'm really good at this. I had been a gymnast growing up and I was like, oh, I'm strong, I'm flexible. This is like, this is my thing. But it was at the end of the class when the teacher asked us to lay down on our backs and she turned the lights off. And I remember thinking, what are we doing? She's turning the lights off and she came around and she put a blanket over top of me and, and kind of pressed my shoulders down. And, and as someone had, who had grown up as a competitive gymnast and a doer and a pleaser, there was this moment of like, wow, you mean we get to like just be? And if at that point in my life I had been more vulnerable and more in touch with my feelings, I think I would have just started weeping right then and there because there was something about it that was so foreign and so healing that I thought, I will do this a lot <laughs> and I will do this for a very long time and and it was that that somehow replaced all of the other pieces of the of the stretching and the strengthening and the moving that I thought I was gonna come back for but it was really the Shavasana I came back for and then over years what I continually have fallen in love with in yoga is that it gives me myself back um, I tend to be a really cerebral person and I tend to think a lot and analyze a lot and every time I come back to my practice there's a, uh, a re-inhabiting myself and my heart and being able to feel again and to, and to have energy move in my muscles, not just to feel that I'm strong but to feel that I'm like really alive. Even if I'm not having a good day and I'm sad or I'm scared, there's still this sense of like, oh, I'm, I'm here and I'm in this body and and I've got me, and, and that's what makes me love this practice. So honestly, for me, I started practicing yoga out of a book when I was 19 years old. And I was in music school, and I was spending long hours hunched over a guitar, looking at a music stand with this asymmetrical kind of tight posture. And I was with all of these other uh, teenage or, or young adult kids who were you know, really anxious about becoming great musicians and really nervous that we weren't good enough. So there was a lot of intensity in that experience. And my girlfriend and I took a book out of the library and we started practicing yoga on the floor, on the carpet. And she stayed with it for maybe the first three weeks or so. And then she said to me, you know, I don't know that I want to do this yoga thing because it hurts. And for many years after that, she would always jokingly repeat back to me what my response was, which was that I said, yes, but the hurt is actually good. And for me, there's something in that initial experience which represents why I fell in love with practicing yoga, because there is something about getting into my body, feeling my tension, working with the pent up emotions I had from growing up under apartheid in South Africa and from the difficulties of my family life. And, and my education as well. I went to a very punitive church school. There was something about spending that time with myself, getting into my body, feeling the relief afterwards that really introduced me to the process of yoga practice. And this would become a great love in my life, something that, that was incredibly meaningful. that I realized that yoga was going to be something that significantly would impact my life was maybe about 20 years ago when I was dealing with a health issue. I found out I had cancer cells on my cervix and as part of treating it, I started to look into nutrition and psychology and trying to understand what was happening in my body in addition to the medical diagnosis. and. At that time, what I learned about was the importance of eating organic food, the importance of stress reduction, and treating my body in a different way. And what yoga really brought me at the time was this awareness that I had been using fitness and exercise to manage and shape my body. And that wasn't creating health for me. I was fit, but I wasn't healthy. In the yoga room, I, I finally got in my own being that I needed to treat my body with love and respect and I needed to choose ways to move my body in order to heal versus in order to control it and 
the yoga room was the first place where I had some idea of what that actually meant. Through practicing yoga and a lot of other things, I was able to heal a lot of stuff that was happening for me health-wise. And, and the yoga piece, again, became the space where I would relate to my body really, really differently. I wasn't relating to it in a punitive way or in a critical way. I was actually relating with it.